This is a HeadGum Podcast. Here's a question. What is care slash of? Care of is a monthly subscription vitamin service made from effective quality ingredients, personally tailored for your exact needs. So I got an email and they were like, take this quiz. So I took a quiz, super easy, super fun, super chill, lots of pictures, truly kept me engaged, bright colors, good for me. And it literally designed the vitamins that I should be taking. And truly I read through it and I was like, this is right. I should be taking these vitamins. And there's tons of benefits to vitamins. So even if you try to maintain a healthy diet, guess what? It can be hard to get all those nutrients your body needs for long-term health. Vitamins also fill the important gaps that your body is missing from your diet. And get this, 90%. It's a lot of people. That's almost all the people. They fall short of the FDA recommended guidelines for at least one vitamin or nutrient. Also, the recommendations are built on clinical research with traditional medicine, with input from doctors and nutritionists. It includes individually wrapped packets with your specific vitamins and supplements for easy grab and go. Because you can't be shaking stuff out of bottles being like, what's this and the other thing? Nope, these are just wrapped up for you. And guess what? It costs about 20% less uh, when compared to similar brands at drugstores and local health food stores. So for 25% off your first month of personalized Care of Vitamins, visit careof.com and enter the promo code DATEME for 25%. I'm saying it again because you might have missed it, but you get 25 to 5% of your first month of personalized vitamins via Care of. Visit Take care of dot com. The promo code is date me. What a treat. You'll be swallowing big old vitamins in no time. Bye bye. It's a podcast where I'm trying to figure out how I'm still single, even though I love sex and I love men and they make me happy. My guest today is wonderful. You know him from Tween Fest. Donald Trump's The Art of the Deal, the movie, trying, relationship goals, dub, si- hashtag size matters, men make a choice, comedy, bang, bang, UCB originals, Fear Chan USA, Cubed, Boys Town, The New Brooklyn Nets, <laughs> 4.30 in the morning show, movies in real life, commentary on, com- college humor originals, <laughs> improv everywhere, New York culture catalog, Chris Gethard, oh, public working, access baby. show, in a New York minute party on the 49th floor, UCB live, just originals, misconnections, Sif jobs, two girls, one cup, the show, and the UCBWS Tony Good Times. We have Dan Black! Wow. Um, <laughs> I have a question. I don't know anything about that two girls, one cup <laughs> thing. <laughs> You don't? Look, I'll do anything for money. Sure. I was in a recreation of Two Girls, One Cup. Yeah, as Sleazy Ted. Sle- that's about, that seems like the stuff I book. Yeah. <laughs> it probably happened. Sleazy Ted, Pimp One, <laughs> <laughs> a man named Tito and a Just Original. Uh, Yeah, uh, that I know about. That I know about. I love that you don't know about Two Girls, One Cup, the show. I, I honestly don't know what that is. Well, it was a show that you were on about two <laughs> girls, one cup. I don't, I don't think I was on that. I don't think I, don't I was. Know, man, it's on your IMDb professional page. It was cool, and you're reading that down, and you're like, "Yeah, I've done a lot of stuff." You know, there's a lot of fun stuff I did. Those were good. <laughs> those are my memories. Like, if I died right now, I'd be like, "That was that we was." We went good. through all of your professional memories. I'd be like, that was an okay life. I think maybe once a day, all actors should go on IMDb and read their uh, resume out loud. Do you think when actors die, instead of their life flashing before them, their parts? It's just parts. <laughs> it's just they're under fives. Oh, just they're f- under fives. That'd be so <laughs> funny. That's great. 
So, Dan Black. That is great. You are a married man. Yeah. I was at I your wedding. I apologize for not bringing my wife. I know. Uh, <laughs> no, it is She was is the main fine. attraction. I get she it. She was not the main attraction. You've I made it clear. Just... You've made it clear. Well, I was just, I also, if I was going to, like, invite both of you to be on it together, I would have emailed both of you. Right, right, right. But instead, I just, I was, like, texting you, and I was just like, if, you, if she can come, she can come. Whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll come back with her. We'll, we'll, because I consider, uh, yeah, anyway. I'll... Just I don't know how to conjugate. I don't know what I'm doing. We'll come back with her. So I was at your wedding. It was a lovely, beautiful oh, ceremony. Your mom looked incredible. Jamie's mom looked great. Everyone looked great. I don't know why I picked those two people to say they look great. That's okay. But they look. I just your My mom is defended. so funny. Your dad is also so funny. Your family is great. I love them. Uh, but you and Jamie have been dating since I've known you in New York. Yeah. So that's like six years, seven years. How long yeah. have you guys been dating or together? It's, about, it's like seven years. Okay. Yeah. Where did you meet? You met at a show. We met in L.A. Actually, even though oh. we we both lived in New York. Actually, uh, we um, we were uh, guests on a podcast. <laughs> really? I swear. In you Nicole Shabtai's old house. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Rob Stern's podcast. Uh -huh. It's called Pass the Carrots. <laughs> Jamie was herself being interviewed as like uh -huh. a stand up, um, and then I like came on and played a character. But the weird thing about it is that like I wasn't. I wasn't – I had a very loose invite to be on the show. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like kind of like Jamie today, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> and um, I I kind of was like in traffic and wasn't sure I was going to make it. I was driving – I was staying in Santa Monica. By the way, Ugh. this is my first time ever coming to L.A. I'd never stepped – Why foot. were you staying in Santa Monica? Because I was staying with my friend and I had no idea how far the things ah, I needed sure, to do sure, were. Sure, yeah. You know? You didn't so, know that everything you were going to do was going to be on the east side. Well, first thing I did, I got off the plane and I got in a taxi uh -huh. to go to my friend Nicole's house where I would eventually meet my wife, mm -hmm. my future wife at this point. You follow yes. that? Yeah. And um, and uh, that was kind of sounding but fun. And no, um, I'm following, Dan. Yeah, yeah. Are you, are you picking up on this? I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay. And uh, so I get in the taxi and I'm like, all right, we'll be there. And, and, and uh, yeah, uh, it, the taxi ride was I think one hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I probably landed yeah, during. I had no idea. I just uh -huh. kept watching it go up and yep. go up. And, hey, uh, how close are we? <laughs> what is it like? You because it was metered, you yep. know. And literally, it's like, what is this? Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I had no idea how sprawling LA was. I knew nothing, so I went there and I had uh, my first meal in LA, which was at the, the Mustard Seed Cafe. Mustard Seed's great, a classic, a classic. They've since renovated since that first time you went. They have since renovated. They now have a beautiful <laughs> glass in front of the register. It's beautiful. This is, they have a spit guard for the register now. Beautiful. And yeah, so then uh, I was yeah staying in Santa Monica, so I was stuck in. I stayed there, and I had to come back to Nicole's house because mm -hmm. that's where a couple people from the show I was doing were here staying. It was for the NYPD. Sit down and shut up. Variety hour. Yes, a UCB show that ran from 2008 to 2010. Yeah, it ran for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's still running. It's still running. They're just switching out the cast. <laughs> I come back. I do it. You the know. longest running UCB show off 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 Broadway. I wonder what the lost the longest running UCB show would be. Ask it. I don't know. It's probably Ask it, right? Okay. It is. It wasn't as interesting as I hoped. No, it it's wasn't Ask because that's one of the first shows they did, <laughs> yeah. and it's still going. Marquee show. Marquee, marquee show at the show. Upright Citizens Brigade Theater. If you don't know what UCB means, it's where Dan so, and I met. Yeah, so I had this really loose invite to go mm -hmm. there, and I'm in traffic, and I show up. I happen to show up right before they're recording. And so I recorded, and then Jamie was already there. She was the guest, and I hopped in as a character that I just improvised. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you remember the character? Yeah, yeah, I played uh, uh, Giovanni Domingo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Giovanni Domingo. He was the guy who got cut from the original cast of the Jersey Shore. Okay. To be replaced by Snooky. Okay, so, so he's a guy who thinks he could have been Snooky. So you're you're Vinny right now, and I'm Nicole. Oh, no, Giovanni. Oh, uh, wait, what's his name? Giovanni Domingo. Oh, where did I get Vinny from? Oh, because you said Jersey Shore, and I thought immediately of that Vinny man. So his name is Giovanni? Okay. You're Giovanni, and I'm going to talk to you. Yeah, 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 okay. Hi, Giovanni, sure. how are you? Hey, I'm doing all right. You know, if I didn't get... Unfortunately... For me, I got cut. For, you heard what happened to me? I got cut from the, I, the Jersey I Shore. I'd be a millionaire right now. You would be a millionaire. Yeah, I wouldn't be working at uh, Dwayne Reed. You work at Dwayne Reed? I, yeah, I work at Dwayne Reed. Are you a checkout guy or a stock guy? 
I do. Uh, I kind of like. I I have was the stock guy, and then they switch me around because they can't really give me one responsibility. Sure. Because so, I'm a floater. Like, I'm a floating guy. I'm kind of like the the heart of the Dwayne Reed, I would say. Okay. what Are you single or are you dating? Right now, no. I'm, sing, I'm looking. You are? Are I'm you looking. on Tinder? Yeah. Tinder? At this point, it doesn't exist. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're a period character. Yeah, well, you, I thought we were going back to that moment. Okay. Oh, Notice that my I voice just, is very similar to this. Very, this. It's almost identical to your <laughs> natural voice. Yeah, I actually don't. To be honest, I don't remember anything this guy said. I don't remember. I mean, but it's in podcast form, so it's findable. So it is findable. It's findable. What's his name again? Giovanni Domingo. I don't know why I want to keep calling him Vinny. Because it's Italian. Giovanni Domingo. What a funny name. Giovanni so, Domingo. So, yeah. Jamie's pussy got wet when she heard Giovanni Domingo, a.k.a. Dan Black's voice, and she's like, I gotta date this guy. I guess that's what happened. Who asked who out? You asked her out? I think, so yeah, we were hanging out. Like, she stayed longer at the podcast, and we were talking. She was here writing on Ridiculousness, mm. that MTV show. That's wild that they have writers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the most insane sentence I've heard today. She, <laughs> yeah, they do have writers. Uh, they, you know, people are like, all right, well, this guy will fall down at this time. We'll show this clip. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, so she was writing over there, and uh, it was her first writing job. Mm -hmm. And so she was like, yeah, I'm coming back to New York in like a couple months. So then after I had sent her an email, maybe a Facebook message. But I was not big on Facebook at that point, so uh -huh. I don't, now I'm huge. Now you're huge. Dan Black, very big on Facebook. Very big on Facebook. Thousands of friends. Yeah, I have so many friends, and I'm friends <laughs> with all of them. <laughs> Even the random people who friend uh -huh. me, I you're, go out of my way to get to know way, them. You get coffee with them, you know them in real life, so you know them on the Facebook friends. I go to their weddings. That's I'll fly great. I'll fly to a Facebook friend's wedding, That's a random great. Facebook That's friend's perfect. wedding. That's perfect. Friend is, is not a word I take lightly. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so then I sent her a message like, hey, when you're back in New York, let's, uh, meet up. And then, uh, when she was back in New York, she let me know. And then we, we, uh, hung out. And then that's it. That's it. So, <laughs> how long did you date before she moved in with you? You um, and Shebs. Hey, not to derail the question, but in the, I, I want to say this in the beginning, you're like, I don't know why I'm not, why I'm single. I want to say, I don't know why you're single either. That's well, bullshit. Well, Dan, it's bullshit. thank you. Thank you so much. So yeah. you don't know at all? You don't have any inkling? No, you're great. <laughs> you are great. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. You're you. great. You're funny. Yeah, you're cool, <laughs> successful. I uh, mean, what else, what else could you ask for? I don't know. It's just, yeah. But, uh, um, all right, back to me. So, uh, I think we covered that, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I Great. Think we, so, didn't we, I think we, fit, we, we, yeah. So, we uh, finished it. We're done with the podcast. It's, uh, it it's took done. 11 minutes and we're done. We can, I'll wrap it up. Yep. You wanna wrap yeah, it up? let's wrap it up. Do you have something <laughs> you want to plug? Uh, yeah, I like to plug, um, <laughs> I like to plug this appearance. I think it's some of my best work. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Comedians of Wrestling podcast, my mm -hmm. podcast where I just dissect wrestling like a lunatic. That and is wild. What do you dissect? Like matches? Is no, it we called watch a every... match? Yeah. About? About? No, it's a match. They're matches, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're matches. I'd rather it be called about. And the next bout is starting in two mm. minutes. The Get ready are... for the bout. <laughs> <laughs> the the bout, bout is a boxing term, I believe. Do you watch know. boxing or just wrestling? Just Why wrestling. do you like wrestling so much? I mean, simply put, it's man theater, but we are jumping around a little bit. I'll keep, called, but I'm going to keep in mind all the questions. It's man theater. It's man theater. Yeah. Okay, it's great. so how long did you and Jamie date before she moved in with you and Shebs? Um, Shebs is Dan Black's best friend. Yeah. Um, I think we dated, we, um, it was probably like, I want to say like three years. You dated for three years before she moved in? Two years. It was less than that. Two years. Yeah. All right. Yeah, something like that. I don't I don't I don't have that stuff. I don't have that like the time the okay, so chronology how long have memorized. You, how long have you guys Which been I'm together? Which I'm sure Jamie would give me shit for. What? How long have you been together? At this point, like seven years. Oof, that's such a long time. So you missed online dating. I've missed the whole boat on it, which is that's why you said we're going to talk about Tinder. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, yo, I got nothing to add <laughs> to Tinder. <laughs> Although I know that, like, it's it, to, as someone who missed completely missed the boat on Tinder, mm -hmm. like, it seems like terrifying to me. Like, that's the thing that makes me feel old. 
Yes. Is the thing that like I'm like not that's a technology that I have no interaction with at all. <laughs> and forget the technology, just the 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 meetup aspect of like, hey, we're on Tinder and like then we're actually gonna move it yeah, to real it's, life. Uh just continuous blind dates where right. you swipe on someone, you create a false intimacy by texting or whatever, because you never call anybody. So right. you don't know if you're gonna meet them and you're gonna be like, Hi Nicole and you're like, Great. You sound like Mickey Mouse. You just, you don't know. You don't know if they're going to actually look like their pictures. It's, uh, it is, you said it sounds scary, and I'll confirm. It is literally the most terrifying I, thing. I, I mean, especially for, like, a woman, I think I would be, I mean, I'd be, I'd be scared. But I guess as a guy, I'd, I, <laughs> I'd <laughs> yeah, be scared also. Yeah, you don't also. know what kind of crazy woman you're going to meet. I mean, I will say I do meet men... Uh, in, a, in a location that I'm comfortable with. Right. Very rarely do I let them pick the place. I always pick the place. Um, I try to meet them not at their homes. But sometimes you just need to chomp on a dick and you don't want dinner. So then you go to their house and you just let someone know where you are. <laughs> so, okay. I want to dissect what you just said there. Sure. You're saying sometimes you need to chomp on a dick and you don't want dinner, meaning... You're trying to not eat, like you're like you're like I'm trying to watch what you're eating, or you mean like you're like, <laughs> or you just mean like I don't feel like going to dinner. I it means I just want to have sex with you and I don't want to go to dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, honestly, that would be a thing for me. I would be like, yo, right now I'm on this diet situation. <laughs> like I'm on the I'm on my meal plan, and she sure. wants to eat at eight, and I have to eat by seven. <laughs> and I'd be like, I just want to chomp on that. I guess pussy would be what or dick, whatever. On, Dan. How we do it. Yeah, ch well, I don't want I mean, and then you say chomp on a dick, which immediately I feel <laughs> down in my penal region. Sorry. Just being like a chomp. I mean, just like get it in, have it But happen. so you say you'll go, a guy you talk to on Tinder. All right, so a guy you talk, uh, no judgments, by the way. Oh, I don't care if you judge. Okay, good. Then I will judge. You can judge because, all you want. Because I have the open door, I might as well. <laughs> uh, what's the point of judgment? You yes, know, free judgment, judgment if you please can't use judge it. judge me. So I would love for you to judge me There are this. guys that you talk to them that night, and then you just go right to their house, Absolutely. and you fuck them? Yes. Okay, and then you never talk to them again? Absolutely. Yeah, so I mean, like, I guess that's the equivalent of, like, there's definitely girls... When I was younger, I mean, I talked to them at a bar. Then, that's a one-night stand. And it's a one-night one stand. stand. Oh, there's a term for it. Yes, the yes. bar. Right. I so mean, what's the difference, honestly? Yeah, that's how that's how I feel. Because I feel like some people are like, ugh, that's gross. You're like fucking a stranger. But it's like, what do you think is happening when you meet a dude at a bar, you get drunk, and you go home with them? I'm just taking See, out the okay. expensive part of the equation. Yes, the the, the, the part of it that is – no, I don't I, – I don't, the part of it that that I guess is weird, and, I, and this is probably some kind of problem with online dating, is like I feel like I didn't have one-night stands all the time. Oh. I would have like a per-chance night where it was like I met this girl and kind of just like, you know, and there would be a lot of that talk of like, I don't normally do this routine. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. And, I, whenever people say that, I'm like, let's stop lying right now. Right. But I'm saying that for me, I would be, I, it would be honest. Like I didn't really like. Well, how many one night stands have you had? I, I have no. I don't. I haven't kept track of any. Any. You don't keep track of how many people you slept with? No, I have no no number for that. Ooh, baby, I got a. Is whole, that normal? I don't know. I may be abnormal. I have a word document where I describe every sexual encounter I've ever had in detail. That is unbelievable. <laughs> Everyone, you know what cloud to hit next. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the doc. But the doc. You know what cloud? You guys know what the, if you want to fap, you know what cloud. Got you in that clown, baby. No. Um. Uh. Also, I'm very not cool with the fapping. So I. What I don't is know. the fapping? Is that's like you know get how they get uh, Kate Upton's pictures from her phone. You know. It's so rude. I'll joke about it, but actually, I think it's like, I hate that. I'll judge you right now, Dan Black. I think yeah. you love it, and I think it's bad. I th you think I love the you fappening? You love the fappening, and it's bad. I mean, no no straight guy's not going to like that. Like, you can, it's like, oh, I'm, I'm watching Jennifer Lawrence on TV, and if I wanted, I can go look at her naked. Like, but I, why obviously, would that would be cool. That? But what's up? Why would you want that? Well, because if you're like sexually attracted to someone, and in a, in a, I'm <laughs> but, walking down a, a t I don't want to oh, talk about oh, this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the climate's too but hot. But it is a little hot, but. Why I, would I want it? I mean, like, it just like, how, well, the same reason, like, you know, if you're like, yeah, why, why, uh, 
Why would I want it? Like you're saying, I why would I not? It's just seeing a a, a beautiful woman uh, yeah. naked. Well, I've never watched someone on the screen, like watched a movie, and been like, dang, why do they look like naked? And then like gone and Googled it. Like that's crazy. Really? Yeah. Um, well, I've never done that either. But I'm saying like I've never, <laughs> done, but I've been like you. I've seen someone on the screen, like oh man, they're great. And then you'd be like, I imagine that what I'm if I'm physically attracted to someone uh-huh. that means that i would like i probably means i would like to have sex with them right i just think it's it doesn't mean if weird. i act or whatever like the whole fabbing thing is weird to me because it's like i'm gonna expose this person naked and they didn't ask me to do it and it's like well why i mean why? cracking into their like and like, putting it out there it's like that's criminal yeah, yeah. like unless someone unless someone has put out naked pictures for me to look at i'm truly like huh I don't really care until you're like, ooh, Kim Kardashian is naked again. And I'm like, okay, I well, guess I could look at them titties again. Kind of the cool thing is like now they're hacks hacks are like hacks are becoming hack, you know, where it's like <laughs> it's just like there's people getting hacked for you're like, oh, all right, well, there's so many like I'm you're not just even like, yeah, I don't really care. Like the first one was the big one and then now it feels like you don't even hear about some of them. Well, Sia was hacked and someone was trying to sell her butt pictures somewhere so she just tweeted them herself and she's like someone's trying to sell these these little butt pics and uh, i'll tell you something you can look at them right now right okay that's Guess a good way what? to get ahead Dan of it. black we are gonna take a break right now okay and we will get back to the fappening And we're back. What a lovely break we took. Dan oh Black, God. I'm glad you didn't fucking leave. It would have been no. very bad for me. Okay, I want you to look at my I tender. Took a nap. A deep, I was in a very deep. I was in a full REM. Yeah. Full REM. Yeah, I was in okay. full REM. I want you to look at my Tinder profile. Hey, also, can I ask you one thing from before? On that Word doc, what's the weirdest thing on the Word doc? Because <laughs> that happening came up because we were talking about, yes. hey, let's get that Word doc. And, I, I, and <laughs> uh, uh, on there, what? because you said you write down the men you have sex with. Yes. Uh, sexual encounters with, by the way, because it could be. And then yeah, you write down the, what the acts were, yes, right? Yes, so it's broken up into people I've just hooked up with, which means just a kiss. Or it's people I've slept with. Um, the weirdest thing on it. I guess it would be when a bartender went home with me after St. Patrick's Day okay. Okay. and we fucked and then he, right before he was like, I'm about to come and I was like, okay, come. And he like pulled out, took his condom off, spider climbed up me and came on my face. Wow. Without asking? <laughs> yeah, without asking. Isn't that, a, that's a permission situation, am I right? Yes. Yeah, if you, you can come on my face as long as you've asked. And honestly, you can't come on my face because I don't want it. Usually I'm wearing makeup and I don't want it fucked up. Wait, so you just said you can if you ask, mm-hmm. but you said then you can't. Here's the thing. If you <laughs> ask and I say, sure, great, right. you could do it. But I'm saying me personally, I'll never say yes. I'm usually wearing makeup. I don't think I've ever had sex without makeup on. I won't do it. You mean you got to be done up for this, your special day? Yes, it's my special day. Yeah. I'm having sex. <laughs> I got to be done up for my special day. Yeah. Oh my, all right. Like so, if I'm doing a booty yeah. call, I will put makeup on I think before you should, it. I, I, think, I think that's like, I think that makes sense. I think it's a little it's insane, perfect. but. It, uh, I'm saying I understand why you do it. I'm not saying that you should have to. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I'm saying like I would like do my hair, you know. <laughs> I put a little gel in for you. Just, you know what I mean? Oh, that's nice. It's the effort that counts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, the, that's just all the ladies should know. I'm going to use a little bit of my just expensive gel if I'm coming bit. over. That's nice. I don't care what time of night it is. You're getting my mailing goats <laughs> and it's going in my hair, sage <laughs> sage cream in the hair, in my wisps. That's okay. nice. Let's Wait, your... let me tell you another weird thing. On oh, yeah, talk. please do. There and was... as a matter of fact, feel free to share it with me. Move it over to the G drive and share it, and then I'll, <laughs> you know, if you want, I'll go through it, and maybe I'll... Uh... Well, no, Dan, because I don't trust you. You'll release it to the world. There was one guy I met. The first time I got fingered was outside of a bar. Oh, yeah. Uh, when I was 18. It was outside the Blarney Stone by a small little Hispanic man. Really? Yep. Uh, That's it. Wait, wait, wait. So he was he in the bar or just a guy walking by the bar? Honestly, he may have just been a guy walking past the bar. And then how did the how did you how did the fingering get initiated? I initiated. It was initiated. Initiated. Because, Sorry, uh, you got to break fingering inertia. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you have to get that momentum going. Mm-hmm. This was the first one. Yeah. And you've been getting fingered every day ever since. <laughs> I get fingered every single day. It's great. But uh, I don't, I just remember being wasted. And all of a sudden, there was this little Hispanic man and my friend Evan going, Nicole, what are you doing? And we were like making out. And I was like, I don't know. And then I looked down. I was like, oh, his hands are down my pants. Oh, that sucks. And then I was like, ooh, what a treat. I, it was, it was. Was it consensual? I mean, what, like, what, you know, I mean, you, this sounds like it was. You wasn't. called him a little Hispanic man. <laughs> I'm not, it doesn't sound consensual. Uh, it, I think it was. I think after I realized what was happening, I was fine with it. Which right. maybe should not have been the that way that went right. down. That he maybe should have right. asked, but I don't know if he spoke English because he never spoke. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't sound. I, I yeah that uh yeah okay. You were probably I, it, cool with it, it in the moment. It was fine. It was yeah. It was fine. fine. Not I everything. Was, not everything is uh traumatic. You know, no. some things are just spontaneous. They're just weird and spontaneous. <laughs> There's a fine line between spontaneity <laughs> and trauma. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, yes. Yes, I know. That's very true. It is true. But yeah, I mean. But for a guy, yes. the, the trauma part doesn't exist. Trauma does exist for men. No, no, no. I'm saying like, yeah, that is true. No, no, you're, you're 100% correct. But I'm saying there's times in my life where if I, any experience I've had like that mm-hmm. when I was like in college or whatever, we're just like, this is happening. I don't know if I want this, but I'm fine with oh, it. No! Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's, all right, this girl. I, I think there's a lot of. I was talking to somebody about this and he was like, the, the, I talked about this earlier, The he said that the definition of consent has changed. And I was like, nah, bro, we just understand it better now. Right. Anytime someone's like, no, thanks. Bye bye. Like everything has to stop. Everything has to end. I never said no to that man. I right. realized what was happening was like, this is good for me. Another weird thing is I was making out with this guy. Yeah. I had a. Is fed- he in the dock? Yeah. All right, because I, I don't want to hear it if it's not in the dock. No, it's in the dock. I was wearing a feather earring, and he said, I want to wear the feather earring so everyone in this bar knows that I'm yours or something. So then he wore my feather earring all night, but then he didn't go home with me. And then he took my feather Is earring. Is that sexual? Uh, we made out. We made out for oh, a little bit. Oh, you made out. Okay. Sorry, I, I may thought you were saying that. that. If his, because I want to know, is it is it penetration if uh, your <laughs> earring goes through the ear of an of a man? Yes, yeah, so I thought it was really sexual because my <laughs> earring went through his hole. Yeah. So exactly. that's like the way I have sex with people. I'm trying to think of another weird thing. I, why don't we just bring it up? Bring up the Google Doc. I can't. It's, it's at a word home. doc. It's a word document. It's at home. I, I love it. It's a word doc. I'm not putting it in so, Google. No, the best part is that if someone wants to get it, they have to old school break into your house. They, yes. Oh, turn on your computer like Zoolander style. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, and go into your computer. The way it's labeled is not what you would think it is. It's not like Nicole Byer's sex list. Oh, uh, I know what it is. What do you think it is? It's listed as like um as like stuff to do today. <laughs> No, it's actually labeled I trick men. Oh, because there's... Well, you just told me. <laughs> oh my god. I'm be like Milheiser, let me in. Is she is she gone? <laughs> no, you can't come to my house. Okay, read my Tinder profile. Okay, I love your Tinder. First off, I haven't read anything yet, but I see that it's a picture of you. Have you described this to everyone before? Am I repeating describing? Yeah, it? you're repeating it, but it's fine because I you're want your opinion. You're holding like a monster dildo. Yes. Uh, um, th- like. One that no one uses. It's more of a novelty <laughs> item, I would say. Unless, you know, someone uses it. I mean, we got some... I mean, it, if proportionately I'm seeing this thing is probably... It looks like it's like five inches around. <laughs> no? <laughs> probably. Um, and Maybe yeah, more. You're holding it, and you're kind of making like a sexy face towards it. <laughs> but it's not deliberately a sexy face. But if you look at your shirt has a mouth and two eyes that are very excited. <laughs> a wide mouth, like it's like it wants to chomp your words, that's in quotes, chomp, <laughs> on the dildo. Uh, and the eyes literally have the like have the, the like spidey sense over each eyeball. Like, oh <laughs> like they want to chomp on that dick. So and in the back there's some a Lichtenstein. So I, I think There's a what? A pop art. What's it called? Oh, it's like a Roy Lichtenstein painting. Oh. Lichtenstein, I believe. Sometimes oh, yeah. you pull out shit that I'm like, what? How? How do you know this? Oh, uh, 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 tremendously smart guy. One of the great <laughs> brains. One of the great memories. <laughs> um, that's how normal people speak, right? One yes. of the great memories. One of the great memories. <laughs> tremendous brain. <laughs> tremendous brain. One of the great memories. You're speaking memories. just like the president. That is, those are direct quotes. Tremendous. Tremendously. Big one brain. One of the great memories. Uh, all right. So should I keep going through this? Please. So that's the first pick I see. Yes. 
Okay. And then you're also wearing, I just want to say, you're wearing um, you're wearing the wig with the curly wig. Classic Nicole. The one that I had no idea was a wig for. <laughs> Remember that when we were on sketch? Did you I, go, like, pull it off? You and took you it were, off like, one time and it away? kind of traumatized me. I was like, that's not a hit because I'd watched you perform for years. You wore exclusively this one for a while. Yes, because I didn't have any money. Right. That's the reason why I wore a wig was because I was like, I want long hair, but I don't have no money. So I spent $40 and wore it for a year. Because I was always like, I really love her hair. <laughs> Obviously, didn't approach you about it because I don't think a white man should be like, hey, what's nah. up with your hair? And the last <laughs> time I dealt with a black woman's hair, it, it was a, stor- a story Phoebe told on Conan. Really? <laughs> Which... Well, it wasn't. The oh, re- you're the man who picked up her her extension. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She was staying at my house, and my dogs ate <laughs> ate one of her dreads out of her hair. And then I got it from him. I chased him. I got it from her. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, "Hey, do you want this back?" <laughs> like I literally didn't know. I was like, "Is this garbage now?" I had no idea. <laughs> It's very funny. It was I, I was like, uh, like you know. Uh, anyway, all right. So then I swipe. Uh, I love that you're the man who did that. That was me. Yeah. I wish she had said your name. I think she said J- my friend Jamie, and she said her husband maybe. Maybe yeah, she, she, she might. You don't have to be a nameless white man chasing another woman, chasing a dog around, trying to get a, a dread out of its mouth. Yeah, especially when you're this name w- well him. known of a talent. Name him. Exactly. He's been forty nine things on IMDb. <laughs> Two girls, one he cup. He was in Two Girls, One Cup. I played Tito in Two Girls, One Cup. <laughs> no, Dan, you played Tito in a Jest original. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a, actually, that Jest original, I think, was like when Mitt Romney, the joke was like, Mitt Romney's a bad guy. <laughs> think about how far we've come. <laughs> it was like, Mitt Romney's an elitist, uh-huh, like uh-huh. You know, like a, a rich guy. And now could... everybody be doing bad things. Okay, wait. So I swiped another picture, but then I happen to look down. I see your age is 28. Yeah, I can't change it. I don't know how. Facebook won't let me change it again. That's your actual age, though, no? Nah, bitch. What? 30. Oh, you're older than that? Yeah. Wait, so you can't change? Well, the reason why it was 28 was because IMDb hadn't posted my age yet. So I was like, I'll put it younger. So like... Maybe people will think I'm, I don't know, acting. You don't oh, want to so be now, fucking old. Right, now they so think now you're lying. It's like I'm a liar. Oh, that's, <laughs> I mean, that's not a big deal. It's whatever. I mean, it, you know, you'll have to come clean if you find true love on here. Well, I did, like, I met a guy and we went on a, ugh, like, we dated for like a month or two. And then I was just like, oh, P.S., my age is a lie. I'm, I'm 30. And he was like, that's eh, fine. Um, I, I think I explained everything to him. Um, I'm sure that wouldn't bother me. Well, actually, you have a great story for why. It's not <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, it's not like I'm just like trying to be like, I am young. It was like, I just want the industry I'm in to not know how old I am so I don't get passed up for parts. Right. All right, so here's the part. You say, I got a fat ass. So if you're not into it, and then the three clap emojis. No, they're bye-bye emojis, you oh, dumbass. bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, that's why I was curious because I was like, <laughs> yeah, bye bye. I was like, why are you plotting that? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so. That's um, incredible that you don't know emojis. I mean, I do know emojis, but I haven't used the bye bye one. Oh, well, that's So bye-bye. I probably don't know emojis. You don't it's know fair. emojis. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not great with emojis. I, um, uh, yeah, I mainly. I, well, we had you a discussion. Deal in words. Of, we we had a discussion about emojis. Yeah, you wanted to use black hands, <laughs> <laughs> or no? You were mad at me for using black hands. I. What did I say? You said something about how I can't use black hand emojis. And yeah, I'm that's black. what I said. Let's not paint this like it wasn't a joke. <laughs> I didn't say you can't use black hands. But to me, yeah, you were absolutely kidding. It was definitely a joke. Was, was that a funny. setting? Do you have to be like, I want my hands to be black in the in the <laughs> emojis? You go, Siri, make my hands black. <laughs> no, you, you can like choose. I think I'm strictly yellow. You know, I like, <laughs> which like the the neutral, whatever. I yeah, guess that's, that's the, the neutral. The neutral. I think I haven't I haven't switched it to be. Uh, if you hold down on the yellow, other colors pick it up. Like they. Other oh, it, it, it'll pick up on your pattern that like you yeah. always go with black. Yes. Right. Um, okay. So. Um, okay, so I like people with a sense of humor because like, it's too fucking long not to laugh. That's good. So that's that's. I mean, these are both genuine. Yes, 
These are this is genuine. So, what's the comedy like on t- on Tinder in this profile oh, part? Oh God! I gotta like, say, I like the light. I like the layout here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, people either think they'll think they're very funny. What are you giggling at? <laughs> the next line. <laughs> they just said it was genuine, and then the next line is DTF <laughs> down to figure skate or fuck or farm or fly a kite, whichever is easier. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, and I'll tell you something. Men are not funny. <laughs> they like <laughs> sometimes people will think I'm not kidding. I've had numerous people go, uh, there's an ice skating rink in Glendale. Do you wanna like go? And I'll be like, Yep. And they're like, Okay, well free skate is at this time and I'm like, Okay. And like, do you do you have to rent skates? Should we go a little earlier or do you have your own? And I'm like, I'm kidding. I'm yeah. not a figure skater. Right. And then I've had people be like, oh, I grew up in Wyoming and I used to farm, blah, blah, blah. It's not easy. Right. Uh, what did you farm? And I'm like, I'm nothing. I, I, I'm I, not a farmer. Yeah, that that's the nightmare, I think, with – because, you know – I think, um, I mean, how, what's your, uh, I don't know how much you're going to talk about this, but what, I I'll imagine. talk about anything. I'm saying, what, I, like dating within comedy, how much of that do you do? Oh, boy. And within UCB specific, because I feel like, not to sound like a weirdo, I know that that gets dicey, but then I'm yeah. also like, those are the people I would connect with the most yeah, if I were to be a single person. So in New York, I ran through a bunch of dudes. Right. I hooked up with a lot of guys. I never dated anyone, but like hooked up with people. Moved out here, hooked up with some people, and then kind of just stopped doing UCB as much. Like I do my weekly show and I'll do shows here and there. Right. So I don't have interactions with like the. You say when you got like girl code and you started being successful? Yeah. Right? Like. Yeah. So like I was. Let me brag for you. Okay. Thank you. Although your one interest on your profile <laughs> is, is my TV is show. your TV show. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's linked to Facebook and I can't, it's a, I don't know how to change it. I don't know Facebook. Facebook is very hard, but I love Facebook because my show, Lucy Exactly Nicole, is on Facebook. So okay. I, yeah, so I moved out here in L- to LA, was yeah. shooting Girl Code in New York, was going back and forth. So then it was just like hard to like actually make a connection with people out here. Yeah at UCB, Absolutely. which would have been the time for me to like get a boyfriend out of UCB or whatever. Right. And then stand-ups, male stand-ups have, I won't say all of them, a lot of them have like a chip on their shoulder. They like weren't attractive in high school, but they were funny. They weren't attractive growing up, but they were funny. So now girls will fuck them all the time because they get up on a stage and do a show. So they're not looking for a girl who looks like me or like a girl who does comedy, a girl who's like competition or whatever. Uh, So like standups, I don't think I'd ever date a standup. I don't think it would ever happen. Yeah. I mean, I I, I do stand up and I guess it's weird because my wife is a standup. So it's like also everyone knows, but I also don't feel like I've even gotten like at shows, like talk about like the show format compared to like a UCB show. Mm -hmm. Um, Is this too specific for the podcast? No, I don't think so. I'm just saying like, I don't, I haven't met anyone where I, would, I think I can make a connection even like I haven't seen that as as being easy. No, it's fucking hard. Because people and leave, they go do their spot, yep. they leave. They're very much like writing their notes down. They go up, no uh-huh. one watches each other, no one talks about like uh, yeah. it's, it's very uh, very rarely lonely. do uh do you like make a connection with another stand up. Although I will like I feel like I have to prove myself every fucking stand-up show that I do. Right. Because I'll, like, get on stage, and then it's, like, a little uphill battle, and then I'll get them to laugh, and then I'll have a great set. And then, like, a dude who's after me or who was before me was like, that was actually good. And I was like, you don't have to put the qualifier actually. You could just say it was good. Yeah. And I feel like it happens all the time. Give me my phone back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, was, I like the other pictures as well. Because I guess is the big thing in Tinder – like people posting like glamour shots. <laughs> yeah, people want to post glamour shots. Uh, I get weirded out by dudes who only have selfies or dudes who only have pictures with their friends because I'm like, what are you? What are you doing? And it's uh, Tinder leads uh, for a lot of like judgment. Everyone's judging each other. Right. Yeah. Um, I think like when Tinder first came out, my friends, I remember feeling like so left out. Right, like I was like, <laughs> my friends were like going nuts on uh-huh. Tinder, and then and and I wasn't like, oh, I wasn't like, oh, I wish I was single so I could do this thing. Mm-hmm. But I was like, this is like crazy. But then yeah. now everyone has a negative attitude towards Tinder. Oh, there was a while where everyone bad. was like, yeah, 
People, it's like Twitter or whatever. Like Twitter is, was yes. better before it was big, and then Ugh. Tinder is probably the same thing. Twitter is just a fucking nightmare minefield of like social justice warriors and then awful conservative people, and it's just as wild. So you think people should meet on Facebook? No, I'm saying like I think that I know people who have met, who have like been connected on Facebook. Mm-hmm. There's more of a connection if you're like mutual friends on Facebook. Sure, it you, is because you're like, oh, this person's friends with this person, so it's kind of like vetting them. Is there any app that you? I'm sure this app exists that's just like, hey, uh, you recommend friends? Hinge. Is that what Hinge that is? Hinge goes off like mutual f- Facebook friends. There's got to be one that's but... like more of a manual. Like it's kind of jank. It probably doesn't make that much money, <laughs> but it's a little bit like it's a little bit like old school matchmaker. Like I, I bumped into my friend the other day. Uh-huh. Like here's an example. I bumped into my friend the other day, a mutual friend that we have, and I, I, I won't I won't say her name because she's Fine. like, yeah, and she's like a she's like a famous person, and uh and and uh and we were talking, and she was like, oh, I'm single, you know, and then I thought of my friend, and I was uh-huh. like, oh. I would like to. I'm like, oh, that that might maybe that would work out. I don't mm-hmm. know. But what am I? I don't know. Tell how to her. If there was an app that just was just set like, them up. what if there was an app that I just like ping them to get? I just like press a button. That's go, too much. Bing. Why don't you just as a human being? I don't put, want. It's too much work. It's not too much work. You send two text messages. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or you do a group text and then go text each other without me. Okay. You see how out of it I am with the dating. There's stuff? there's a lot of apps, and I think. Maybe if people set each other up, that would be nice again. I know this nice man, and I can set you up, this nice man with this nice lady. But that doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. I don't know. Tam Black, if you were not married, yeah. would you date me? Would I date you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You would? Absolutely. Oh, damn, that's so nice. Yeah, you're, you're cool. Wow. Yeah. Very few people have said yes. Well, they say no. I mean, I, I think I could see some roadblocks. Uh, well, there <laughs> think, we go. I mean, there's a real answer. But one thing I really, one thing I would say about our relationship uh-huh. that's really interesting is, um, is, uh, is that you do give me shit in a way that, like, <laughs> I appreciate in a way that, like, is like how my wife gives me this crap. Well, we I talked think about you're... it right before we were recording. Yes, because I... I think you're funny. And yeah. you need to be told things sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's like I get too whiny and I get too, you know, what white angry or whatever. It's like, you know, white, <laughs> hetero white guy. Uh, white angry. I don't know what it's called. Like guy... Jay Farrow show, White Famous. I get too white famous and I get, sometimes <laughs> I just get too white famous. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I, I, I appreciate I'm saying like I, I can't date a girl who like, the, the point, I, uh-huh. I couldn't date a girl who's just like, not who's just going to not give me any crap. You know what I mean? Fair, yeah. I, I had a friend break up with it. a girl for that because she was really? just like, he was like, she doesn't like give me any crap for like playing video games in like the middle of the day and like. That's so funny. He's like, I don't know. She just really accepts me for who I am, and I don't need that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I just know I need that. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, no. So yeah, I mean, <sighs> wow. so let me. Th- Thank you. What kind of what kind of d- guys have you had the most success dating? Was there is there a type um, or like or, uh, uh, anything you could point to that we can get you towards the right kind of dude? I mean, the guy I've had the longest relationship with was like a true blue sociopath. Like he was crazy. He would say one thing and do like another. Right. And he he was bad, but like that's the longest relationship I've had. Was and then, was he a uh, a sexual deviant? Kind of. Yeah, I, I always I'm just curious about that because. What do you mean by sexual deviant? Do you think you invite that kind of behavior? (laughs) Because, like, you're so open and, like, I don't know. You're, like, it's always, like, I'll chomp on that dick and this and this. Do you think that you invite that that type of person? Maybe. But then also, I, I'm playing. I'm I'm way underqualified to be like making it's these. It's fine. You uh, can play devil's assumptions. advocate or whatever. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's that's what it is. Is it devil's? I don't know. I don't, maybe I don't understand what devil's advocate. Is. I'm playing like Anywho, a psychologist. Oh, a psychologist. Okay. Well, I mean, you do a lot of improv. A lot of improv scenes happen in therapists' offices or psychiatrists' As offices. Fact, so you're a great, all great second beat. Perfectly beef. qualified to talk about this. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I do attract men who are like, oh, I got weird sex stuff, and she likes to talk about sex. So yeah, maybe I don't know. Because some, I think, just from our relationship, I always think that you might have like a, you might have like an intimidating sexual energy. 
Sure, I did date one guy who <laughs> freaked out when he saw a dildo in my room. I have yeah. my friend for my birthday got me a massive dildo. It's very big. It's a white dildo that's like about a foot tall and maybe like eight inches around. It's wild looking. Well, the blue one needs a friend. Yes, the blue one. Well, I don't own the blue one. That was in a <laughs> okay. sex shop. But it's like in my room and it's like <laughs> in between a bunch of books. And it's just like a dumb thing. And he was just like, wow, oh, is that what you like? And I was like, no, it's not what I like. It's fine. And then I always have a dick earring in my ear. And he was like, wow, you really love dicks. And I was like, honestly, I do. They're very silly. So I yeah. mean, I just... Yeah, maybe I like put out sexual energy in a way where like it's coming back to me with these like creepy weird dudes. Well, I mean like that yeah, that might, it might be uh it might be like oh, energy attracting energy. Some, something maybe. that's a little bit more uh hippie than my brain like works <laughs> works on. But the like on the other hand, like I like weird like not weird sex, but right. like you don't do butt stuff. I'm here for butt stuff. Was You're, that too much information to tell the world that you don't like butt stuff? That I don't like butt stuff? You don't like butt stuff. I don't, I don't yeah, I'm not into butt stuff. <laughs> I mean, I love a lady's butt. <laughs> but you don't have, you won't let butt stuff be done to you. No. See, I'll do butt I've, stuff I've to no, you. I have no, I have no interest in that. If some girl was like, I really want to do that to you, I'd be like, all right, whatever. I mean, like, hey, like, you know. I don't know. Last time we talked about this, you were like adamant about it. You're like, what? The, my wife? The mother of my future kids you want to eat my butt <laughs> it was honestly no, oh, the funniest conversation we've had we were specifically talking about eating ass <laughs> yes where no okay so that's you were said fingers and then i you know butt stuff um it's very vague uh but uh i thought maybe it was like sculpting or but i uh but <laughs> i i i if like my wife wanted to like eat my ass i would just I couldn't do that to her. Like I couldn't. My ass is disgusting. <laughs> my, wash it. It even when I wash it, it's just it's gross. My I can't. Well, I don't know what man has like a not a gross ass. <laughs> I've encountered butts that weren't gross. Why is your butt so gross, Dan? I don't know. That's where I, you know I take shits there. I sweat a lot there. Yeah, I got, but if you my wipe crack it up, is hairy. Wipe it up. It's fine. Well, I read an article the other day and it said wiping does not clear fecal matter. That you have to use like a. A baby wipe. wipe. Yeah. But why would we think that? Is that common sense? If you wipe with a... It is nuts that we wipe babies with baby wipes and then we grow up and go, nah, paper will do. Yeah. That's nuts. It's just to save money. I use baby wipes. Right. I don't flush them, though, because that's bad for your plumbing. Right, yeah. So I use paper and then go over it with baby. I just go paper towel. I rub it nice and raw, make sure it bleeds, and then I'm done. <laughs> I don't stop until I strike blood. <laughs> well, then I... I guess I would. So I guess be that's butt stuff. So sad for Jamie if she had to eat your bloody butt. I'm saying that <laughs> maybe I'm a square in this way. I'll uh -huh. admit, maybe I'm okay. a sexual square in this way. Is that a term? A sexual square? <laughs> you could be a sexual square. I'm a sexual. Is that like I? I, I actually don't want my wife's face in my dirty <laughs> asshole. I don't want anything, anyone I respect, anything, <laughs> anything that I respect near I don't my dirty asshole. I understand why you call it your dirty asshole. Why can't you take a shower? I shower so much. I, I showered twice already today. Did you really? Yeah. Why? I woke up. I went to the gym. I woke up, showered, went to the gym, came back. Wait, and showered you shower again. before the gym? This is actually something I picked up. It's very wasteful and stupid, but it's something <laughs> I picked up on from Jamie. She does it all. She does it. She showers before the gym. Yeah, sometimes I think like if I go early in the morning, it helps to have the shower to wake me up. Fair. Yeah. What gym do you go to? Well, I go to. Uh, I got a couple things. I do some classes, but this morning I went to Barry's Boot Camp. Oh yeah. Which is, uh, I highly recommend it. Barry's boot camp started in New York, yeah. in Chelsea. It's Barry came out here. Where intense. is Barry? West Hollywood? No, it's in Hollywood. There's one. Uh, there's one. Uh, I don't know Hollywood and. Uh, Let me see your arms. Your arms look bigger than normal. Yeah, you've I'm, been really working out, I'm, Dan. I'm yoked up thanks to Barry's. Go to Barry's.com. <laughs> I don't know what they're saying. I'm not. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them at all. Go to Barry's.com. Probably Barry's bootcamp.com. Yeah. Um. But yeah, you're saying butt stuff to me. Yeah, that, yeah. I don't know. That's just that's how I feel. All I'm, right. I honestly think you should take a nice hot shower, 
fucking oil it up with some baby oil, back that ass up into Jamie, and well, say, Jamie, go to town. Okay, so what, I mean, tell me what you've done to a guy's asshole before. I've fingered guy's buns. You've eaten it? I've, yes, I was you've getting there. It. I've licked a bunt. I've put a butt plug up in there. Right. I've done a lot of butt stuff. So the butt plug thing... It, it, I, I'm. I guess I could be convinced because I guess like it, it milks your prostate or whatever. Yes, and but then, I haven't had any urge to have that done. But I mean, you'll come really hard. I'm sure I would like it. Right? You would love it. You would come very hard. Right. So I'm gonna buy you a butt plug, Dan. If you buy me a butt plug, I will. I will. I guess I'll use it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you heard it here, folks. If yeah. Nicole, but anybody, just it can't look like that blue dildo, though. No, no, no. I'll get you. I'll get you a, a little baby one. So. Um. Uh. What were you saying? Oh, licking a butthole. So yeah. when you lick a butthole, yeah, you you lick the sphincter. <laughs> yeah. Like that's that's the uh, right. That's the that's the that's, the, that's the focal point, right? That's the butt. Right. You're going right for that. Yeah. So let's say you were like trying to foreplay it to a butthole lick. Mm -hmm. You would kind of like lick the crack. You lick it, right. You'd start licking no. the lower back. Then you no. go. Then you that's go. A lot. You're cheek doing, to you're cheek. Doing so much. Then you do butt bongo. Yeah. And then you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, do a between the cheek. You motorboat the, the butt cheek. Sure. And then, this is what I'm picturing. Okay. Okay. And you're in this. <laughs> what I'm doing right here. And so, okay. No, no, that's not you. That's no, creepy. That's great. That's I'll creepy. be right is up it, in there. Well, sure. do I have consent to use sure. you yes. in my? <laughs> do <I> have, <laughs> what? Yeah, Dan, you have consent to use me in this scenario. Okay. So then I'm all right. So you're you're all right, it's my butt. Okay. And you're do if you have consent to use my butt? Yes, we'll use okay. your butt. <laughs> okay. This is I'm great. glad we got consent out of the way. Okay. Yeah, all right. All right. I mean, you can't ever be too careful. Can't be too careful. You never get too much consent. I mean that seriously. <laughs> You heard it here first from Dan Black. You can never get too much consent. Yeah, I've definitely done that. I definitely have in college was like, I've <laughs> been like, hey, you want your, you want. You That's should. good. Yeah, that is good. Yeah, all men should do that. Yeah, you should always check in with somebody and be like, this is still okay, right? Yes, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's great. I've got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, yeah. Dan I talk Black, about you're I a good boy. I talk about it a little bit in my stand up, but you're a very um, good boy. So, um, uh, uh. So all right, so then when you get then so when you get to the asshole, right? Yes. Then what do you do? You turtle it. You go, <laughs> you know, like a turtle's tongue, like kind of yeah, man. It. Mm. You could turtle. And then it, what do I feel there? Or you do could I, just lick it. Do I it's have like? Just, it's a fun sensation. It's a new sensation. If a lady licks your butt and jerks you off at the same time, that's nice. So I'm oh, told. Oh, that's a, that's that's. That's a rusty trombone. Am I wrong? What a rusty trombone! <laughs> Isn't that what that is like? I don't know. Like, Oh, I wish we were recording this. What a treat to see Dan Black. Do you <laughs> <laughs> Well, that because like the asshole looks like the yes, the now mouthpiece I get of a trumpet. Yep, and or then trombone. you're blowing into it. Yeah, I guess so. A rusty trombone. So I'm just rusty trombone and dudes all <laughs> so day every day. So you've given a rusty trombone. I've rusty trombone so many times. Right now, I believe a rusty trombone will also leave remnants of a dirty Sanchez. Um, What's a dirty Sanchez? I believe again? isn't that just like uh, that's just shit on your face. I think it's like shit on your face. <laughs> like I, a shit mustache. I, I don't actually know. I never found any of that stuff that funny, so I never like looked into it. <laughs> Uh, well, I'll tell you this. But I guess, I'll tell you, I've I'm having never, fun with it now. I've never had a dude have, like, shit. I've never been shit on. All right, yeah, that's my question. So when you, you taste shit, though, when you put the no. thing on? I guess you don't know what shit tastes like. I might not taste as bad as it smells. <laughs> Wait, I don't know what shit tastes right? like. Right? So maybe shit actually tastes great. And that's why people <laughs> eat ass. <laughs> have you ever eaten shit? No. <laughs> no, let me think back, though. <laughs> No, I've taken shit from so many bosses in my days, but I've never eaten shit. I yeah, I've never tasted no. poop. I don't think so. I think you would know if you've tasted poop. Right. I don't now I'm concerned. Yeah. I've eaten butts, but I don't Yeah, so I'm saying you don't get concerned. I've, all right, well, so the, the only guys time, all right, here's the my The only time okay. I've ever eaten a butt yeah. is if his hair is wet when I've come over. Because it means he just took a shower. Wait, so do you do you do you want to do that for you, or do you want to do that for them? Do you know what I'm saying? I've had my butt eaten. I know. Well, I, that I believe. But I always like sh I shower before sex, unless it's a one night stand. And if I'm having a one night stand, please don't eat my butt because it's been a long day. But I will like wash my puss a little right. bit. If I go home with someone from a bar, I always wash my pussy before I leave. 
Or in Leave their the bathroom. Bar? Yeah. Or so in the bathroom. you go into the bathroom and clean your vag? <laughs> oh, I'll just like wipe it with like a paper towel. Just be like, here. Let's... Just to make sure. Just to like, you know. Clean it up. Clean it up a little bit. You've been sitting on it for a while. Interesting. Interesting. Or if I like go to a dude's house and he's got that. like baby wipes, I'll baby wipe it. I like I'm just, that. I can't, I don't, I don't want to serve up, you know, stinky puss. You know what it is for me? What? I think this is part of my personality is like, like I don't. I don't. I, I I smoke weed, drink alcohol. Drink alcohol. You drink beer. I drink beer. Love a nice beer. <laughs> you want to talk about beer? Should we switch topics? Because yeah, when you talk, talk about, about beer, my manliness beer. kicks in. I just want to talk about a beer. <laughs> I love the foam at the top. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, uh, and like when I'm drunk, you know, yes. I'm like, this is awesome. I smoke weed. I'm like, this is amazing. And I I don't feel the need to do other drugs. Like I don't need to go past that. I'm like okay. this is like awesome. What do you mean? So what are you I think about? I love. I like like you love front sex. A vaginal intercourse. Front I'm, sex. Ba- I'm a big fan. You love so front I, sex. I, like to me, I haven't gotten sick of that. I mean, there's also okay. yeah, oral sex. You know, there's all that. So, but but I do want to get back to your thing because okay. so when you lick a guy's butt, that's because you're like you want to do that for you. You get off on it? No, I've never gotten off on licking a guy's butt unless it's like I like him so much. I get off on pleasing him. I'm right. a pleaser. I like to please people. But no, that I get if you like the guy. But yes. I'm saying, you, have you gone home from, have you done a one night stand no, where I've you're looking butt? No, I've never gone home with a dude that I didn't know and licked his butt. Are you kidding? Right. That butt, I don't fucking know where that butt's been. Right. Give me that showered butt, that butt I know. Do you ever demand a guy take a shower? You ever date uh, go out a guy, he stinks a little bit, you're like, I, I, I'm, I just need to fuck this guy, and you're like, will you take a shower? No, I've never fucked a stinky guy. Well, I've sucked a stinky dick. <laughs> <laughs> But I've never fucked a like a like a a body odored man. I went on a date with this guy who smelled like a dish rag, and I just didn't continue the date. Like I had dinner, but then we were supposed to go mini golfing, right? And I was like, I can't do this, so I faked a phone call. It was a, I should have won an Oscar, right? But yeah, well, we've come to the end. Okay, Dan, do you have anything you want to plug? Um, I mean, if you like pro wrestling, check out my my podcast. It's the Comedians of Wrestling podcast. If you have the, if you have a friend who likes comedy and likes professional wrestling, you can listen to that. But uh, yeah, I mean, I uh, host a stand up show called Day Night at UCB, and uh, yeah, and you can see me in Two Girls One Cup. I'm playing Tito. <laughs> Tito's the guy who um, he's the guy who procures the cup. <laughs> He's the one who is going store to store trying to figure out if they'll sell him one cup. He's looking for the right cup. He's just looking for the right cup. Is it a mug? Does it have yeah. a handle? You guys know Ceramic, Indiana Jones. plastic. The Last Crusade, where you got to choose the right cup. Never that's, seen it. <laughs> that's what t- We had to pick which cup was Jesus' cup. That's what I did. Never seen it. I had to it. choose the right cup for to hold the shit. You can also I- see Dan Black Tuesdays, 7 p.m., UCB Franklin in a show called Tuesday Club. And if you like this podcast, uh, you can subscribe and rate it five stars. And if you rate it five stars and you hit on me in the comments, I'll read it on a podcast. Uh, If you say something like, ooh, all this ass talk makes me want to dig in your ass, or something like, ooh, baby, you are a stack of bricks, and I'd like to build you into my dick. That was bad. Uh, I'm trying to come up with them off the top of my head. Usually I read them, but nothing good has happened this week. Uh, okay, thank you. Bye-bye. That was a HeadGum Podcast.